Good morning everybody and welcome to Friday's Maths lesson. Now today we're going to be looking at turning and movement and positions of things, okay? So let's get started. Now, um, Mr Lake, when we're talking about the direction things are turning, sometimes we use the word clockwise. Yep. Okay, now Clockwise, I'll tell you now, it's that way. Yeah. But how do we know that way is clockwise? Well, it's the way, if you look at a clock, right? Oh, um, pen. pen. Just a moment. Da -da -da. Right, if you look at a clock, think about the way the numbers go, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right. The hands go around that way, don't they? Yeah, it's the way a a clock moves, isn't it? It goes yeah. around that way, okay? So we have clockwise. That is a direction of turn. Now, the other way you might hear people saying quite often is anti-clockwise, mm -hmm. okay? So anti-clockwise, uh, if we just draw a clock. Now at home, try and draw with your finger which way you think anti-clockwise is. Remember, clockwise will be going around that way, like the clock. So anti-clockwise must be... The other way. That's right, we're going around the other way. Yeah. Okay. So if you think of yourself as a clock, we'll go this way. Clockwise, I'd be going around this way, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so on. Anti-clockwise, I'm going 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, so on. Anti-clockwise, it's like a clock going backwards. Broken okay. clock. Right, now, um, right, what we're going to do now, because we don't normally I'd have children doing this, but obviously <laughs> we don't have any children here, so Mr Lake, I'm going to need your help. So, let's have you, yep, so if you're standing there, now I'm going to ask you to do... Stand this way. Um, which way should we have you standing? Well, this way, I think for now, children. for the, yeah, okay, for this, so you're standing, so Mr Lake is that way, the same way as you, if you were, try and make sure you're facing directly at the screen, okay? Now, Mr. Lake, I would like you to do one whole turn. So I want you to, um, and you can go clockwise as well, clockwise, okay? So okay. Go, go one whole turn, so all the way around. Well, if I think, like, if I imagine I'm standing on a big clock, right? Mm -hmm. At the moment, I'm facing 12. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep my arms out like that, and I'm gonna go around until I'm back at the 12 again. There we go. Great. Whole so turn. you have done a whole turn, Mr. Lake. Okay. A whole um, turn. Now, Mr. Lake, I would like you, think back to our work on fractions and things, I would like you to do a half turn now. So imagine if we had our clock. Yep. Remember, half past is when it gets to the six, isn't it? Yep. So I'd like you to do a half turn going from there all the way around to the six and stopping yep. halfway around. So half of a full turn and going mm -hmm. to here. This is yep. where the six would be. That's halfway to doing yes. a full turn. A full turn. In fact, yes, let's actually call it a full turn. Okay, a full turn. Now, um, so we've done a half turn. Yep, I'm gonna go back turn. to my starting position. Now, let's think back to our work on clocks. So if we have our, so if you, so there's our clock. Now, we might split a clock into four bits. Yep, okay. quarters. Quarters. So now, I would like you to, so if you're facing that way, I would like you to do one quarter turn. A quarter turn for me, please. Am I going clockwise? Clockwise, please. Yep, so I'm going 12, one, two, three. Clockwise. And now, can you do another quarter turn for me, please? Yep, still clockwise. Yep. Four, five, six. And another quarter turn for me. Seven, eight, nine. Now I would like you to do a quarter turn, but anti-clockwise, so go the okay. other way. So eight, seven, six, back and, to half. Um, now, why not, let's do a, let's go back clockwise, the way a clock goes, but do a, a half turn for me, please. Okay, so it's gonna take me right back to the beginning. Excellent, okay, fantastic. Now, what we're gonna do, is I'd like you guys at home, right, to join in. Ooh. So I'm going to be like an, an army sergeant, bossing you, giving you commands, telling you what to do, okay? And I'd like you to so stand up in front of wherever, you, wherever your screen you're 
looking at. Make sure you're looking directly at the screen. Okay, so Mr. Lake will do this as well. So you can, you Mr. Lake will be doing it correctly. So if you can, we you <laughs> check, <laughs> check your, um, doing the same as Mr. Lake. Okay, so everyone stand up now, get ready. Okay, and you gotta do exactly what I say. Okay, so everyone standing up. Okay, right, so everybody, Going clockwise, I would like you to do a quarter turn. That's right. Um, now I'd like you to continue going clockwise, but do a half turn. Okay, so you should be same as Mr. Lake now. Now I'd like you to do a quarter turn clockwise. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you to go anti-clockwise the other way around. I'd like you to do a... Hmm, Two quarter turn anti clockwise. One, two. Okay, now I'd like you to do a three quarter turn going mm, clockwise. Okay, okay, so you know, three clock. One, two, three. Two three. So you should be facing that way. Okay, okay. Uh, now I'd like you to do a in fact, I'm not going to say I'd like you to do, you must, because I'm the IG sergeant. Right, okay. We're going to go a bit faster now. Full turn. Clockwise. Go. Excellent. Full turn, or whole turn, anti-clockwise. Quarter turn, anti-clockwise. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I, well done, Miss Lake. Okay, and now a half turn clockwise. Half turn clockwise. Half turn anti clockwise. Quarter turn clockwise. Quarter turn anti clockwise. And a full turn anti clockwise. Well done, Mr. Lake. That was excellent. I'm sure you did very well at home. Okay, so that's basically all we need to know today. Nice. Not, not too hard. Right, now, um, here we have a car, Mr. Lake. Okay. Yep. It is facing that way. Yep. Now, what would the car look like? I don't want you to turn. I mean, let's see if we can draw. I'm going to try and draw it, right? What would a car look like if it did a quarter turn Yep. clockwise? Okay, okay. so I'm so, thinking... Yeah. It's facing if we So if you draw what you think it's gonna be, yeah. Yeah, so if I imagine there's a clock at the moment it's facing twelve. Yeah. So if it does a quarter turn, it's gonna to go to quarter past, it's yeah. gonna to go to three. Okay. So it'll be facing that way. If you so. could draw it, because I'm gonna actually move this, so maybe draw it down underneath. Yes. Yeah. So it would be I'm just gonna draw it like that. Make it a little Yeah, there you go. okay, so that's the front of the car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Right, okay, so now let's check it. So we can actually turn this. So let's go for one quarter turn. Excellent, Mr. Lake. Okay. Right, now let's say, can I borrow the hand, please? Let's see if I can. Okay, no, that was very unsuccessful. <laughs> right, never mind. Right, now our car is facing that way. Yes. Let's give it a mm, half turn and we'll go, continue going clockwise again. Okay, a half turn. Okay, we're starting from here. Yes, let's start from there. Uh, actually, no, I'll tell you what, let's go Let's go for a three quarter turn, and we'll go clockwise. Yep. Three quarter turn, okay? Yep, so one quarter to three, another quarter will take me to six, and then another one to nine. Okay. So my car, I'll draw it down here. Wheels there. Okay, so that's the front of the car yeah, there. It's facing that way. Okay, great. So yeah, so let's think three quarter turns, and so I sort of think one, two quarters, three quarters. Okay, so let's try it like this. So one quarter, two quarters, and three <laughs> quarters. Lovely, excellent. That's not perfect. Yours is better. Right. Let's move on. Now we often use this. Um, for giving directions. Yep. 
Okay. Now, if you'd been in school, I, we would have made a maze in the classroom, we'd have blindfolded you, and we'd have been telling you where to go to go through the maze. Okay. So maybe that's something you want to do at home with a brother or sister or mum or dad. You can make a little course in your house and you've got to tell each other, go straight, quarter turn, uh, move around the maze. Okay. But we don't, it's, we're going to just show you this for now. Okay. Yeah. So Mr. Lake, I'm going to try and get you to the teddy bear, which is here. Okay. So yep. if you're starting there. Yeah. Okay. So if you just draw along as we go, I'd like you to go forwards and make your facing that way. Right? Yep. Go forwards two squares, please. Yep. So now I'm here. Okay. And now I'd like you to do a quarter turn. So I'm facing that way at the moment. Yep. Yeah, and now do a quarter turn clockwise. Yep, so now I'm facing that way. And I'd like you to go forward four squares for me, please. Okay, and so you're facing that way currently. Yep. Now I'd like you to do a quarter turn anti-clockwise. Yep, so now I'm facing. And then go forward two squares. Yep. And go forward one more square, yep. and you're at the teddy bear. Excellent. Okay, so you see how we can use this to give directions. Now, what you're going to do today is just, you've got these questions in your resource pack, uh, go through them, hopefully you'll find them quite easy, read them carefully, and yeah, just enjoy them. But And then if you've done them, I really would recommend maybe you could draw out a maze and a bit of paper, or you could actually blindfold someone in your family and actually make a maze and direct them through it. So have fun and enjoy. <laughs>